Squad, the BBC programme Crime Watch, broadcast the following item. We'd like to talk to this man about six building society robberies in the southeast area of London. He's seen here in the Anglia Building Society in Bexley Heath in April this year. He threatened staff with what we believe is a gun carried in that white plastic bag and got away with nearly £2,000. He has robbed three other building societies and so far he's got away with nearly £6,000. Give us a call if you know him. There is a reward for information leading to arrest and conviction. Back in November, we, Bowley and I went up to um, Crime Watch at the BBC studios, and uh, as a result of the publicity coming from that, we have um, identified somebody, Eric Colwick, uh, as one of the likely suspects to have done at least seven um, robberies at uh, Anglia Building Society, Leeds, and the Greenwich Building Societies. It's a simple job. What we're going to do, rather than um, crash bang wallop at the door this morning, we're going to wait until we see some sort of movement. From our observations previously, we've seen the female come out at about nine o'clock, and probably she could be going to work. So if they both come out, we'll pick them up on the street. Uh, or alternatively, a phone call will be made into the premises just to confirm that Chummy's there. When we go into the address, we don't want everyone in there. We don't want it looking like the Harrod sale everybody rushing around. I just want Steve and Colin Blackman looking for the clothing. He's wore a light coloured bomber jacket that you can see in that photograph and a navy blue zip up button type jacket. I think we will all know as soon as we go through the front door whether we've got the right man. On one of the robberies he's wearing a blue Nike t-shirt with corduroy trousers. So those are the main things we're looking for. Each of the robberies that he's effected, he's had a white plastic bag with, we believe, wrapped in it, a single barreled sawn-off shotgun. I want him arrested, obviously, and his girlfriend. And the reasons for arresting his girlfriend on each of the robberies, a getaway car hasn't been seen. It's been effected by, we believe, Colwick on foot. My belief is that the girlfriend has assisted him. Yes, are you in position, over? Yes, for your information, the, uh, the two uh, cars described at the briefing are in position. It's the DI's birthday on Monday, in case anybody was interested. Last week, Stratford was invited. They all sat round, didn't they? Eating all my peanuts. They were all exit <laughs> stage left before Miri got home to catch the match here. Well, in fairness, I don't know what they do want, do they, the old normal fans? Oh, no, they want to fight. That's yeah, all they look at. Right. Just... Did you remember Mark Lazarus? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I saw him get sent oh. off down there, and he was no, local here. Yeah, he's good to win. Good. Hello, Hello, Mr. Colwick. Yeah, Colwick. Yeah, Mr. Detective Sergeant Ian Gordon telephones Colwick's house to find out who is inside. Hello. Is Eric there? Is Eric there? No? It's John. Are you there? Yeah. Hey? Oh, Christ. No. Yeah. All right, not a worry. Yeah, lovely. All right, Diana, take it. 
ta -da. She said that, uh, that he'd gone out ages ago. Um, she said about quarter to the six. And uh, obviously I picked on the right name because I said I was John. And uh, she said, oh, hasn't he met you? So I said, no. And then uh, she said, uh, oh, he was coming to meet you in Croydon. Hasn't he met you yet? And again, I said, no, hoping to get more information out of her. But uh, she said, well, well, he's definitely left. Left at quarter to six. So uh, it's back to the drawing board now. The girl is still there. We're going to wait now for the girl to leave and um, hopefully the next hour or so he will return um, and it's a question really of sitting and waiting and uh, like most jobs there's a boring prelude to it so we're in the boring prelude stage really yeah all units all units from 993 withdraw withdraw to romeo golf romeo golf 993 over so what we've done now is that um, we've moved the, the first car that was there originally keep an eyeball on the premises for the last hour, so we've taken him away because neighbours and people like that get suspicious about cars. They seem to be more suspicious about our cars than, than criminals' cars. So we moved our first car away, and we've replaced it with another car. Um, and the other strange part is, of course, both the cars belonging to the suspect are still in the drive. At 8.30, Culwick's wife, Rafaelina, leaves the house. Gordon telephones again to see if there's anyone else there. This time, there is no answer. I mean, he's obviously not aware of our initial phone call. The only problem is obviously she's aware, or according to Rambo, she's very... Down the street, and then she locks in the mirror as she went round. Well, that would, that would indicate that we definitely got the right bloke, wouldn't it? While she's out, we keep using the phone. Yeah. yeah. But when she returns, we won't pull that one again. No. She's only about half a mile away, then? Yeah, she's yeah. at a clinic up Banbury Hill, just part around the corner. There's a clinic next to the hospital. That's uh, pretty, she's just yeah. around the corner. She might have yeah, but I get the door. impression that she doesn't know where he is unless he rings in. I've got a feeling he's in there, John. Yeah. Right? She looked up at the bedroom she's window as she through. left. Detective Inspector Mullard has to decide how long to continue the operation if Culwick does not reappear. If we do it tomorrow morning, we might be in the same situation yet again. He hasn't come back. Yeah. You get him at 6 o'clock tonight. His house has got to be thoroughly searched. He's got to be arrested. She's got to be arrested. They've got to be brought here. They've got to be interviewed. If you've got evidence, you must charge him tonight. 10, 11 o'clock tonight. You've got all the paperwork to do. He must go to court in the morning. You're putting yourself under immense pressure when you needn't put yourself under. And it, I know, and you know from experience, by 7, 8 o'clock, the head's dropped. We've all been up since half past four. People want to get home. There's all those things to be done tonight, and people aren't as enthusiastic as they are if you start fresh in the morning. We've missed him today. My, my opinion would be, leave it till about 4 o'clock. If he doesn't come, we come back first thing tomorrow. Well, I'd rather not do it tomorrow morning from the yeah. point of view, John. We won't know we're in the same situation again. Because oh, tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? Sit out the front and wait for him to come out. He's not even there. Shortly before one o'clock, Mullet is called down to the house. Well, from the, the OPs are down at the premises, the two people, the male and the female, have returned. And uh, they're secu holding it until we get down there, where we will search the premises and start as we hope to have started at 8 o'clock this morning. So, optimistically, we'll get some sort of result now, hopefully. It's the police. Can you open the door? Hello, Good man. afternoon. Detective Sergeant Stratford. We're from the Flying Squad at Scotland Yard. We've got a warrant to search these premises. May we come in? Well, we okay. are coming in, actually. OK. So... Well, All right, we're coming in. Can I, hold on yeah. a minute. What's it for? At the door. It's no, a... what's it we're for? We're searching for firearms and clothing, OK? Firearms and yeah. clothing? Yeah. Please open the door. Please, I've got no firearms. Yeah. Is there anyone else in here? No one at all. Lead us up. Oh, Lead us up the stairs. Yeah. 
No one else here. No. Let's have a look then. You sure? No, I'm positive. Honestly and truthfully, I've just put all my decorations down. Why is the window open? It's been open. I've just got in from work. What's that? Just in the right. Okay, just a sec. We want to search with you. We just want to have a look, make sure there's no one else in here, first of all. Okay. Come on. They got him. <laughs> right. Good. This window it was. Bring him back, Peter, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. What is Eric, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Do you want any cuffs? I've got cuffs here. Where's my jacket? What are you doing? Are you... Come in, come just in. Come out the way. No! Come on in a sec, we'll talk to you. Please, come in here. I'll tell you what's happened. Three cups, you know what's happened. I don't! Come on, come on, listen, you'll know. Eric came back with you, didn't he? And he got out the window and he's been arrested down the street. OK, we're going to bring him back. And what's he done, though? I told you, we'll tell you in a minute. We want to search the house, first of all. You can search it, I've let you search it. All right, you have been reasonable. We want to do that. Have you got to ask the question again, because things aren't... He has been in the house. So, from the point of view of you saying he wasn't here, he was here. So, if we want to start telling the truth as from now, we'll forget what's gone on before, right? Yeah, I'd like to go out and see her. She's going to be upset. With yeah, she so just want to have a quick word with her. But any more nonsense, mind, OK? Hang on, you don't listen to me. Listen to well, your husband's here. He's just going to tell you to put, calm down, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm telling you. What's going on? We're A uniform unit turned up to check us, who was sitting in the street, and we told them, as why waiting for our units to arrive, to go round the back to cover the back. And lucky enough, he came out the back window and they nabbed him as he came out the back. Good job done by all. He's such an old man, he's worn out, isn't he? That's right. <laughs> Come around the block of flats and there was a large patch of grass and I thought, couldn't have got across that that quickly. So I went into the flats and as I went in, I saw some feet disappearing behind a door around the corner. So I went up there and there he was sitting behind the corner, standing behind the corner. Where are all your T-shirts? That's what I want to see like that. Because I don't want to come back later, do we? This is my home. This is my home, Eric. I found nothing wrong, and I want to know what they're all doing up here. Hey, we don't want any rows. Well, no, look how many of you. Okay, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Okay, I'm Detective Sergeant Stratford. You're being arrested in connection with a series of armed robberies on the Anglian Building Society, the Leeds Building Society, and the Greenwich Building Society, stretching back to 1986. You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say taken down in writing and maybe given in evidence. Is that fully understood? Yeah. You'll be taken shortly to Greenwich Police Station where you'll be questioned Give us about later dozen, today about the offences. At least a dozen, as many as okay. How many times have you been out the window? I've never seen him get out of the window before. He's good, wasn't he? Mind you, he's a window cleaner, I suppose he was... Mind you, we've got in that way the other day. We've got yeah. that, yeah. You might have What's my jacket? You're not taking my jacket. We are, we are taking it. Right. 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 Oh, just just let him get it back. It's nothing. Get it back. There's nothing to do with it. You get it back. Don't He's stop. He's telling me something about how they'd be arrested for armed robberies. Don't start shouting. Okay, let's go. We can't sit there if you let me get past. You take some. We don't want you to come out. I'm getting lost. You think I had a f***ing operation last year and he died? Got a bloody window. These are the pictures, part of the video that was on Crime Watch. Um, after first denying, we got back the night T-shirt, which um, very, very distinctive. We got this jacket from one specific robbery, the other jacket from one robbery, and the night T-shirt. So we've got three very distinctive items of clothing from three separate robberies, plus the shoes. What about the girl's involvement? Well, at this stage. We don't know of her involvement. Um, as you could see at the flat, very, very palatially decorated for people that are allegedly in debt. All the mod cons you would expect in a home of people that are doing well, both professional people. Um, she obviously, to me, my initial instinct is knew what he was up to um, so that he could furnish and decorate the flat out in that condition. Your husband, Eric Colwick, has been arrested 
for a series of armed robberies on building societies where staff have been threatened with a sawn off shotgun and a handgun and a quantity of cash amounting to approximately £10,000 stolen. Were you aware of these robberies? I'm now going to show you a photograph of the S1B. Would you agree that is your husband, Eric, who's shown a photo? I can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. What you? Punk. <laughs> I just supposed to stood around and smiled, you know what I mean, really? No, it's I can't believe, I just really cannot believe it. But that is Eric. Stupid, <laughs> yeah, it is him. It's Eric. It's all now, he's putting a brain in his head, not up his arm, you know what I mean? It's a joke. All right, I'll just leave him. I'll oh. get a cup of tea. I've not been into the bathroom since I left. Better get WPCR and nothing left to come in. Okay. Right. Just everything's in there, isn't it? There's 10 grand's worth of money gone into the house. It'd be interesting, wouldn't we? We don't know what he's. What he's, when we know what he's. Well, they're clipping that in. Now we've got that photograph identified this. He's a plonker. Is it him? Yes, it is. He's a plonker. Well, what we do, we terminate the interview once we get yeah, the property back, 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 and then I think that... I was trying to coach him systematically, but you know when you sort of forget oh, things? Yeah. I've got all bloody sand in here. Question. When we searched your house this morning, it was very well furnished with some expensive gear. Where's that come from? That's all on tick. All on tick. I'd be all that as well. Right. You say you... I'm not disputing the property. No, I don't know. I don't know what you want to know. I don't yeah. know. Not something. disputing the property was bought yeah. from shops correctly. It's out. It's paid for. Yeah. Right. But I, I can tell you, yeah, right. everything. That for... There's nothing I don't have in my flat. All right. If you do say that, there's nothing in my flat, which been that's what you've got to say, really. Otherwise, we'd be here all night. Yeah, night I know. I was going to say that. <laughs> Just get this in. I'm not disputing the property was bought correctly from shops. It was how it was bought. Was it with stolen money? You just got to say no. No, it wasn't. At any time, did you drive a car whilst Eric committed these armed robbers? No, orders? I never. I just didn't know anything, anything until today. Two knocks on the front door. You better ask about this one. It's a knock on the door. Eric looked out the kitchen window. Eric what? Well, looked Eric. out the kitchen window. Mm. He said, looks like old Bill. Yeah. Then it was shit, it is the old Bill. And it was shit, wasn't it? Is that what you said? Yeah. Come to get me. Yeah. I said, why? Yeah. He said, just believe me. When I got to the top of the stairs, Why was it then downstairs? You said he wasn't in the house. Sorry? At the door. I was trying to protect him. Uh, I didn't know what he'd done. Sure what? He's my husband. Yeah. I think I've been helpful enough. I don't think I'm lying to you. It's been a long day, isn't it? It has been a long day. It's been even longer for us. You didn't get up till late. You didn't go to work till nine o'clock, didn't you? 
Arm robberies on the 24th of on. April, wait, seven at the end of the building society, but would you agree that is your husband out? I really cannot believe it at the plonk. <laughs> he might as well have been just moving in and that's it. That's it. And sign initial there. Just normal signature. I've really enjoyed life for the past two years. He's got a new name starting with Sue and he gets hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got a new name starting with Sue and he gets hurt. No, we can't let you have the matches, but you want to light up one before you go down. Oh, you're not putting me back in that set. Won't be for long now, shouldn't oh, no. We've got to have a chat, all right? It won't be for long. You've got to go back down for a short while. What we've got to do is go have a chat. Hold on, calm down. What we've got to do is go down and have a chat with the officers who've been interviewing Eric, and then you'll be let out, I think. All right? Is that all right? You sure? You want to fag before you go down now? Calm down. You're it's going to get that. Oh, no, you got not. it. It's bloody horrible. You've been in there for a few hours, all right? And then what we'll do, we'll get you out as quickly as possible. All right? I promise you that. He's put his hands up to all six of the robberies. Um, he's going to take us out and try and get the imitation gun that he's made, that he's used on the first robbery and thrown away in a place in Lewisham that he reckons it will still be there even two years later. He's identified all the clothes from his home address. He's going to take us back to his home address and try and get some other jeans that he's worn. Um, and other than that, he's not having any more robberies. The money he's paid on debts, paying people off. Um, and I quite believe that. You're quite happy about the girl just not being involved? Yeah, I'm quite happy that he's done all the robberies on his own in the Yellow Rover. He's told us every occasion where he's parked um, and what he's done, and, he's, and it's, most of it's confirmed by the photographs taken from the video. <clears throat> On the 29th of January, 1986, at the Anglia Building Society, 153 Lewisham High Street, South East 13, you robbed a Miss Teresa Pinner of £1,110 cash. That's an offence against Section 8. Do you wish to say anything in answer to those charges? You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so. Anything you say will be taken down in writing and may be given in evidence. That's 8.05, no reply. Right, sit down. Oh, he just told me 10 o'clock tomorrow morning in Greenwich. He said this guy at the Woolwich Court, isn't this guy at the Greenwich Court? Greenwich, is it? Yeah, it's Greenwich for me, sorry. On the 30th of March, 1988, at the Central Criminal Court, Eric Culwick pleaded guilty to six charges of robbery. After Detective Sergeant Stratford had said he believed he was not violent and was unlikely to re-offend, Culwick was sentenced to five years imprisonment. The flying squad was satisfied his wife, Raffalina, was not involved and no charges were brought. <laughs>